Designs used as symbols of Islam include calligraphy of important concepts or phrases, such as the shahada, takbir, basmala, etc. Besides this, the color green is often used as symbolizing Islam. The star and crescent symbol was the emblem of the Ottoman Empire in the 19th century, and gradually became associated with Islam in late 19th century Orientalism. Topic: <laughs> Color. Early Islamic armies and caravans flew simple solid colored flags generally black or white for identification purposes. In later generations, the Muslim leaders continued to use a simple black, white, or green flag with no markings, writings, or symbolism on it. Muhammad used flags of different colors in different Ghazwat or campaigns commanded by Muhammad himself and Saraya or campaigns commanded by Sahaba, the companions of Muhammad. The major flag of Muhammad, the Black Standard, was known as al yukab the eagle. It was pure black, without symbols or markings. Its name and the color was derived from the flag of the Quraysh, one of the tribes of Arabia, whose flag was black with an eagle and was also known as the eagle. The Umayyads fought under the green and gold banners. The Abbasids chose black blue and fought with black banners. The Fatimids used a green standard, as well as white with gold. Various countries in the Persian Gulf have chosen red flags. The Fatimas used the color purple to symbolize hummingbirds. These four pan Arab colors, white, black, green, and red, dominate the flags of Arab states. The color brown is often believed to symbolize purity and peace. Many Muslims wear the color white when they attend Friday prayers. The color black is considered the color of mourning in Western and Mediterranean countries, however, it is considered a color of modesty in some Muslim cultures. It is often worn by Shiite Muslims, who mourn the death of Husayn ibn Ali, killed at the Battle of Karbala. It is the color of the chador worn by devout Iranian Shiite women and of the cloaks worn by the Ayatollahs, the Shia clergy. In many Shia countries, a black turban is worn only by male Sayyids, men who descend from Muhammad through his daughter Fatima and his son-in-law Ali. In Sunni tradition, Muhammad wore a white kufi head cap with a black mana turban. Symbols Many countries use symbols in their flags. There is no specific symbol of Islam, just like there is not one Christian nor Hindu, Buddhist, Shinto etc. symbol. In some countries, a star inside a crescent moon is used as a symbol. But this was the Ottoman Empire's and later adopted much more widely in the Muslim world. Inscribed flags Religious flags with inscriptions were in use in the medieval period, as shown in miniatures by 13th century illustrator Yahya ibn Mahmud al Wasiti, 14th century illustrations of the history of the Tatars by Hayton of Korykus shows both Mongols and Seljuks using a variety of war ensigns. A Dufakar flag used by Selim I d. 1520 is on exhibit in Topkapi Palace. Two Dufakar flags are also depicted in a plate dedicated to Turkish flags in Volume 7 of Bernard Pickert's Cerimonies et Coutumes Religieuses de tous les pupils du monde 1737, attributed to the Janissaries and Sipahis. <laughs> Star and Crescent The star and crescent symbol became strongly associated with the Ottoman Empire in the 19th century, a symbol that had been used throughout the Middle East extending back to pre-Islamic times, especially in the Byzantine Empire and Crusader states which occupied the lands later assumed by the Ottoman Empire, by extension from the use in Ottoman lands, it became a symbol also for Islam as a whole, as well as representative of Western Orientalism. Star and Crescent was used as a metaphor for the rule of the Islamic empires Ottoman and Persian in the late 19th century in British literature. This association was apparently strengthened by the increasingly ubiquitous fashion of using the star and crescent symbol in the ornamentation of Ottoman mosques and minarets. The Red Crescent emblem was adopted by volunteers of the International Committee of the Red Cross ICRC as early as 1877 during the Russo-Turkish War, it was officially adopted in 1929. After the collapse of the Ottoman Empire in 1922, the star and crescent was used in several national flags adopted by its successor states. 
The Star and Crescent in the Flag of the Kingdom of Libya 1951 was explicitly given an Islamic interpretation by associating it with the story of Hijra migration of our Prophet Muhammad. By the 1950s, this symbolism was embraced by movements of Arab nationalism or Islamism, such as the proposed Arab Islamic Republic 1974 and the American Nation of Islam 1973. Topic. See also Islamic flags List of Egyptian flags Jewish symbolism Christian symbolism References, <references>